Scott Bell joins us this morning to talk music and to talk what's going on with the Back 40. You guys have your 70s show on the way. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, it's our annual fundraiser. Every spring we do a show at the PWN Centennial Concert Hall with the theme of the 70s. And we try and provide an opportunity for local musicians to get up and play at that fine theater with great sound. And it's just a, a, a treat for musicians to play there and audiences come out because the, at this point they know it's a great show they're guaranteed to hear and see something fantastic and this year's going to be like maybe our best 70s show ever so really looking forward to it when it comes to something like this because you guys have held this so many years in a row right uh, how do you how do you keep it fresh uh, m with the uh, local musicians we invite we try and you know, instead of having the exact same acts right. play every year, we because there's such a, an amazing local music scene, there's lots of bands, lots of singers and performers, more so than ever right now, which is fantastic. We try and, you know, give lots of different performers opportunities and also uh, encourage people to cover artists that maybe haven't been done before. Certainly there's popular 70s bands that people are just happy to see they come back to see them every year but uh, also to try some new things as well so uh, that's kind of represents what this year's show is about it's going to be a lot of fun now obviously you're a part of this you, you yeah. get up on stage and you perform uh yeah. when it comes to 70s music who what are some of the oh, influences man. who are some of the bigger names that you draw from to I don't know, like, take on what you do on stage as well. Right. Well, the first album I ever bought was Queen's Greatest Hits. Mm -hmm. So Queen has a huge impact on me. Uh, it it kind of represented the first album I bought that was my music. I grew up listening to my parents' music, which was a lot of 70s country. So I grew up listening to Waylon Jennings and uh, Willie Nelson. The Outlaw. And, yeah, Outlaw Country, which is pretty cool. Yep. And uh, I've certainly come back around and, and love that kind of music. Uh, but then to kind of branch out on my own. Then in the late 70s, you know, right when I started listening to music uh, and and developing my own tastes it was kind of the new wave in british music so i was listening to the police and uh and the clash and bands like that right. yeah but uh since then my taste in 70s music has broadened to uh to a lot of bands led zeppelin and van morrison and david bowie and uh, you know just just a wide variety of music there's so much great music out there when it comes to what you guys do at the Back 40, obviously um, this is a fundraiser that yes. leads into Back 40. How yep. important is it to have an event like this, to have like the 80s show that you had earlier in the year, yep. that kind of stuff? Uh, it's great because, uh, well, it, we're, we're a nonprofit volunteer-run organization, so we do need to raise funds in order to uh, put on a great outdoor festival. And we thought the best way to fundraise is through music. So we put on these concerts. I think it's important, uh, again, because it gives the public an opportunity to go see a live show, and it gives local performers an opportunity to get up there and pay tribute to some artists that are very important to them, and uh, just to get up and play. It, it, it really is, if you're a local musician, it's a privilege to play at the PWNs. It's a, it's a great theater kind of a prestigious thing to, to be able to play there. So, And they're opening up so much more, bringing in Wednesday night concerts, right? Yeah. Like all that kind of stuff, which is an incredible thing and, and works well for what you as a local musician kind of asks of the of the public. Absolutely. The opportunities that exist now for, for people to play live is, is tremendous. And I do appreciate the City of Winkler's support with the Wednesday night concerts. And, and this, uh, the Back 40 kind of, that's always been our mandate to help promote and and support uh, local music it's coming up on the 22nd that's next saturday not this saturday that's get right. your tickets where can we get those you can get them at winklerconcerthall.ca online through their ticketing system or if you want to pick them up in person you could go to the meridian center there's a ticket uh, office there as well there you go uh Scott, thanks so much for doing this, and, and I can't wait to see what you're dressing up as and, and who you're going to be performing uh, coming up next week. Awesome. Thank you.